and welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Grixis Amass. So we're getting our next ranked deck that we're going to be playing here today. Another fun one. We had two really good decks so far. If you're watching this on YouTube, hope you check out both of those. Um, the Mardu Enchantments and the Orzhov Troll Knights. And now we're going Grixis Amass. We played these three decks last Saturday. Uh, we're playing them again here today because these are three of my favorite decks to be playing. So this is my preferred version of Grixis Control right now, basically because of this card. I really like Widespread Brutality. I think it's just a really strong card. The Amass mechanic is like where you're trying to like make one zombie army very large, like one token. And this this Amass mechanic has been pretty bad ever since, you know, like three mana to fairy, um, just being able to just bounce your tokens. It's it's a rough spot to be um, with three mana to fairy bouncing your tokens. But this metagame right now, with it being an Oko metagame, there's not as many three mana to fairies. There's more Okos. And instead, like amassing an army is actually pretty decent against Oko because Oko can't really, you know, it could turn it into a 3 3, but then it's just a 3 3 with the counters on it um, instead. So it's, it's actually turning into a, a pretty decent game plan um, against. Uh, against like the Okos instead of Teferis. So hopefully we get paired against Okos, not Teferis in here. But yeah, we have the Gleaming Overseer that can give our um, zombie army hexproof. Uh, we have, of course, the the Widespread Brutality that's going to be like a sweeper, the Enter the God Eternals, which is a nice removal spell that pumps it up. The Dreadhorde Invasion, of course, is pretty key. We want to get our zombie army to be at least six power and attack with it, then it has lifelink. And an easy way to do that is to be playing the Royal Scions with that second plus one. If we even just have a 4-4 four, four army, like, um, you know, if we just have like a 4-4 four, four army, and then we uh, plus one, that second plus one, we give it plus two, give it first strike trample. And that's the other thing is like the big zombie army, it can just be chump blocked for like a long time, you know? Even if you're attacking with it and it has lifelink, they can just chump block it. Well, that's what the Royal Scions in here does. It makes gives it trample, so it makes it so they can't really just... Um, chump block it and of course you know get a life link with the invasion um and yeah that's our that's kind of our plan that's our that's our deck so here we go we're gonna play in ranked we're probably gonna play four matches i know we played five matches with the other two decks but our our matches went kind of fast um they were they're going faster that's why we played a fifth with both of them but our last match there with the Orzhov troll knights took a while so we're probably playing four matches here with this deck Unless they go really fast, then we'll go to five. But we're playing a Grixis deck, so we're probably playing four. Hopefully go like 3-1, 4-0. And then we got a sweet-looking donation deck to play here. Thousand-Year Storm uh, in Jeskai. Jeskai Thousand-Year Storm after this. Uh, question, did you see that they will be bringing Pioneer to Arena? I did see that. I, I was pretty excited about that. I'm glad that they're going to be... Um, supporting historic that we're going to start getting historic um, you know historic events ranked historic and they're going to start supporting that as a format um, on the 21st a week from today and also that they will um, that then they're yeah they're going to be continually to adding they're going to keep you know it's a long term project but they're going to keep adding old cards onto uh the platform here and try to work their way towards having pioneer on arena that would be that that would just be awesome <laughs> yeah that's true if if it does well it'll take a while if it goes bad it'll go fast so hopefully our games are a little longer in that sense Hello. Foulmeyer Knight. It, we always play against this deck. I don't think I'll have to negate here this next turn. <laughs> I've played... I've played... Um, I play Grixis... This is my third time playing Grixis Amass, and every single time we play Golgari. And I've lost, like, Every time, too. <laughs> All right, so we'll have Swift End for the Questing Beast. Uh, 
Hmm. Kind of want to negate that, but no, we'll just keep let it happen. We need to hit land drops. I will learn what nobody yet knows. You know, negate for find finality would be kind of be nice, but I need to I need to hit land drops. strategy here. Rowan! Help! Rowan! Nisa. Behold nature's true power. Cover my back, Rowan. Hmm. There is no virtue without bravery. See, so yeah, I'm just sacrificing the murderous rider here. But I just want to, I want to, like, you know, so I could have just rampaged and killed the Nissa, obviously. But I just want to get that Edgewall Innkeeper out of there also. So we got rid of Nissa and Edgewall Innkeeper. Got rid of both of them. If I would have ticked up on the 2-3 the and then attacked, then they could have just blocked the 6-6 six, six, and the Nissa would not have died. Oh, yeah. Thank you, RMW. Thanks for letting me know. I forgot to change this. I forgot to change the game and title back. Witness a moat of my power. We had a bounty a little while ago. Let us plan for the trials ahead. Spread brutality is sweet. My schemes have been foiled. Let your weak minds crumble. Behind every attack. All right, got the first game. I think I'm supposed to play the Cry of the Carnariums here to try to exile the things I'm supposed to exile. 
the innkeepers. The thing is, I kind of like all of these things. We'll take out Rampage. We'll basically replace Rampage with Noxious Grasp. I kind of do like Negate, especially post board. Like, they're going to have more, um, you know, like Duress, Veil of Summer, uh, Planeswalker removal, that kind of stuff. I think that Negate's a little bit better in the post board games here because, like, they're, they'll be bringing in more Planeswalkers and stuff too. Now, how do I pair this down? Enter the God Eternals kills Questing Beast, which is nice. Let me get rid of the Liliana and an Overseer and a Thought Erasure. What if I just, what if we get rid of Thought Erasures? Is that weird? That's probably weird. These games go long. If you're in top deck mode, Thought Erasure isn't doing a whole lot. If you like to draft, the best way to spend your gold is drafting. It's, it's a really good way to get better at magic, too, is by drafting. It's to draft. I guess we're still keeping it because of these, but where's that blue mana? There it is. Thank you. I was wondering where it was. Good job, Hawkeye. Hawkeye gave me my mana I need. Is it being a good kitty? All right, so do I take the Veil of Summer out of their hand with Thought Erasure now? I think the answer is no. They let them keep holding up Veil of Summer. Puppy's just in the, he's in the other room having fun. So plan is just to be able to just play Dragon God and start taking up next turn. I guess we're getting cards out of their hand so that it makes the <laughs> makes them easier to to castle. I cannot exploit. Boo. More boo. Go ahead. Beg for mercy. I am listening. So Vraska draws a card, but it does get rid of a resource. So it just like just tra it changes a card, like a permanent from in play to a card in their hand. You have tasted but a drop of power. Now 
So that's not bad for... That's not too bad for Nicol Bolas to just change. Don't be surprised if we meet again. Yeah, Kurtash, this is a friend of yours. I've... Oh, I didn't. Oh, I should have negated that. I didn't negate that. I should have negated that. <laughs> Sorry, I was talking to Kurtash. Ah, insolent fool. The widespread brutality of it all. Another time. Planes walk by, intellect is without limit. Oh, Wrinkle's awesome. Wrinkle's awesome. Okay. That almost hurt. Yeah, that almost hurt. My revenge will be pain. My schemes are never ending. It's all about you, isn't it, Nicol Bolas? My this, my that. All right, Royal Silence is here to loot away these extra lands. Look for, like, another Nicol Bolas. Found one. Oh, come on, lag. Let me play this. Thank you. So I'm getting the, the card before we... Do this thing here. Yes, I could have minus and just killed the rankle, but I like just you know drawing a you know getting more cards over here, still attacking their resources. I honestly like just ticking up. They have to like spend a couple of turns trying to attack Bolas. of mystery. So Brutality will kill the Murderous Rider also. I just It's worth it just to get the lifelink damage in there. The update on the 21st is supposed to fix some server performance. Just let Nicol Bolas do the tick up there so that we could still ultimate the Royal Scions too. Alright, 1 0. Good showing for the Amass deck, first game there. Real good showing. No, the Deck Master overlay is not working. It hasn't been working since like last Friday or Saturday. I, don't, I haven't heard anything about it being fixed right now, but yeah, it's not working. All right, Daryl, have a good night.
Okay. We'll need to find lands, but we're on the draw and we got a temple. That's a good start for finding lands. Specifically black mana. Ugh, widespread brutality is so good. I don't want to keep this. That hurts. Putting that card down to the bottom. Assuming this is, you know, just a regular, yeah, mana creature deck. So hoping we get to negate a Planeswalker. That's a good one to negate. Absolute nonsense. One bite, and all your kids. Do you think is that part of Oko's press conference? If it gets banned, Oko's gonna be like, every, every tale about me is absolute nonsense, and absolutely true. I should probably just pass here. That's why. Should probably just pass there and see if they. See if they like activate the goose. If they activate the goose, Are then they tap out and, the and then I murderous rider. You clarity. <laughs> Thanks, Helix. Yeah, Hawkeye is the best. I think a little merriment is in order. All right, let's turn this thing into an 8-8. Good, got rid of Brazen Borrower. I don't like Brazen Borrower. Bounce on my token. Get out of here, Oko. Your expectations are exhausting. You're exhausting. Well, Wicked Wolf trying to fight 8 8s doesn't work too well, but Wicked Wolf can block an 8 8 very well because, you know, it can just be indestructible. But, the second but there, Row of Silence gives my creature trample. So it's about to be a 12 12 trampler there. Yeah, Row of Silence. Just does both things. Uh, like we saw, like last game, uh, last match, like like we just flooded out really bad. So r the question was, what's Royal Silence role in the deck again? It's like so, the plus one ability um, just loots, you know, loots you through your deck and finds you finds the, like the cards that you need. And then that second one, giving your army first strike and trample and pump in the power. Like those are just very valuable traits to have. So this is a tough matchup to sideboard in. This is like a matchup where everything's pretty good. Like maybe I cut into the God Eternals. And cut those for Noxious Grasps. Not all of them. We're, we're going to keep one and get rid of a Negate.
All right, let's give this a try. I'll just keep the, the rampage. I mean, yeah, I guess I could have put in one elder spell probably over a rampage. Don't love that we have two tap lands. Hopefully we draw an untap land here. Ugh. Ugh, should have led with the blood, Bloodfell Caves. Well, Mountain is like kind of like my worst land, but I can't really put it to the bottom. Yay. No Planeswalker yet. <laughs> yes, Monday. So in four days is whenever the next Banded Restricted announcement is. I'm glad I didn't play Thought Erasure and they didn't, wouldn't have to use their food then. They're trying to use mass manipulation to steal my army. That's rude. Let them just sit back and be able to keep making food after food after food. Power surges through these lands. The land fights for us. Way to brag. Hopefully we draw land. Ugh, not land. If we would have drawn an untapped land, I would have played this Gleaming Overseer and held up Negate. Now I'm just getting the Overseer in play. But I would have, would have been able to hold up Negate as well um, in case of a Planeswalker. But at least I have. At least I have Murderous Rider in case I said Planeswalker. I yeah I like the Amass. I like this. I like this kind of Grixis deck more than Fires of Invention for Grixis. Personally, I really like I really like widespread brutality. Here's the cards. Very good. All 
All right, now we got the large army. Now next turn I'll be able to hold up negates. We need them to not draw something for this turn. Let me hold up negate next turn. But that just, you know, my life total is kind of low. I went with the, the Enter the God Eternals for a turn. We milled over two lands, a Veil of Summer and a Questing Beast. They would have drawn Veil of Summer. If they don't draw something nice here, okay, yeah, that, that should just be game then with us having these two things. This thing has menace, so like they can't they can't block this thing anyway because of the gleaming overseer gives us hexproof and menace. So they have to draw a creature. Like if they draw a spell, I negate it. So they have to draw a creature, but if they just draw a creature, I could I just use my swift end and kill it and they still they can't block. So I don't know what they can draw. It's gotta be like multiple creatures, but it's not a spell that's multiple creatures. Or an uncounterable spell that does something cool. I don't know. I don't let's see, Hydrocrasis. Gains some life and is a creature. Not enough life, though. It'd still be lethal. Even if they gain three, draw three, that thing's doing nine, so no Krasis want to do it. So I think they were just dead. And we're 2 0. GG's. Yeah, Krasis into a Goose. If they didn't Krasis for the max amount and then also drew a Goose. Yeah, there you go. Krasis into Goose. They'd still be dead the next turn after that, but they would survive a tur another turn. The slow hand on the draw. Never like to see slow hands on the draw. I'm leading with Dismal Backwater, not Temple, because I don't I don't know, you know, Fable Passage, I don't know what my opponent's playing, so I don't it's it's tough to lead with scry lands when you don't know what your opponent's playing. It's more useful to have scry lands later on. Yeah, honestly, yeah, you want that's a good ladder grinding deck. Is a question that's that's honestly just a tough question to answer. That's kind of different for each person, um, depending on like what kind of magic you like to play and you know what what you're good at and and all that kind of stuff. There's there's so many options for like what you can play to to grind ladder. Honestly, um, I don't know. Yeah, you know, like I'm. I'm up here right now, but I mean, I didn't, I didn't just play like one deck myself. Um, I, I don't think, basically, I don't think there's just like one answer for like one thing you need to grind. I do kind of think that it, it's, if it's kind of easier to grind best of one, honestly. The games are just so much faster with how slow this format is. I do kind of recommend just if you if that's like your goal is just to to grind to mythic that honestly best of one is probably the best option. Uh, let's see. Get shocked. Play royal scions. And we're basically just dead here.
on the draw against Gruul with a hand that doesn't stop Gruul. My, my, my hope is being able to have like enter the God Eternals on five and then afterwards brutality, which is not a great, not a great game plan. But that's, I'm looking down at like the, the play sheet, like what play to run and that's, that's all I got going on. I think I need to fire my offensive coordinator. This is not a good plan. So this is lethal. Anyway, we had Thunder Deuce with that sub. Thank you so much for that sub there, Thunder Deuce. I need to I need to update the sub goal, but Hawkeye's kinda of in the way and I can't can't quite do that right now. Your fault. <laughs> uh yeah, we're pretty dead. Pretty dead. I'm gonna move on and not really show my opponent anything. I mean I'd have to I'd have to play the widespread brutality just to have a chump blocker. But that's not gonna be a game that we're gonna win. We'd have a chump blocker for a turn, but we're gonna be losing the next turn anyway. So there's just not really a point to do that. Yeah, exactly. So I don't really want to show the Admas cards. Um, <clears throat> kind of wish my opponent was just going to like Ember Cleave that, that last turn. We can negate that. All right, so we're going to get rid of the negates, bring in more Legion's End and Noxious Grasp. Um, Nicol Bolas, Liliana, both these cards are pretty slow. Same with like Royal Scions. Like Dreadhorde Invasion is, you know, like that whole lose life thing is can be rough obviously the life gain awesome though so it's it's a trade-off i think i'm going to get rid of a royal scions and a nickel bolus um yeah let's go with this no i've never heard of Brave Browser, Shogo. No, I've never heard of that. What's the other card over here? Murderous Rider? Hmm. This hand's pretty good. I think we want Thought Erasure on two. So do I cut? I'm going to get rid of one of the three drops. Is it Scions or Murderous Rider? So like Murderous Rider is just yet another removal spell. Uh, Royal Scions can like help us loot. You know, like after we already like get rid of some stuff, maybe we can stabilize, play Royal Scions, loot away extra lands, get get more gas and everything like that. So like Royal Scions can like win the game. I think I'm going to keep that. Even though, like, maybe we don't stabilize with just these three removal spells, and at which point I, w I wish I would have had the Murder Shrider. So it's that's the tough call there. Okay, so Ronus just keeps on coming back. But I don't. I got nothing for this war boss, and this war boss is coming down a lot earlier. So I think we take the war boss and just look for something for Ronus. That Ronus is going to be annoying. <clears throat> yeah, now I wish I would have gotten rid of the Legion's End. I mean, I'll probably just ditch a Legion's End here, though. I'm glad we have the Royal Scions so we get to loot and everything. Let me synthesize the facts. Hmm, that hurts. Are you okay? Oh, I think so. I will learn what nobody yet knows.
Yeah, haste tribal over here. That spellbreaker <clears throat> just turned on their curve. Quite nice for them. Let us plan for the trials ahead. We're gonna need five mana for Enter the God Eternals anyway. Need brutality, enter the God Eternals. We need one of those two cards. Yeah, Gruel, Gruel's the type of deck that when you get to curve out and just, you know, ha you have, like, your your really big, you know, you get to be ahead and then start dropping Questing Beasts and Ember Cleaves and stuff like that while you're ahead. Your deck just looks awesome. It's very hard to stop. Like I'm just I'm just very dead here. Yeah, because of because of Embercleave, I don't block both, I'm dead. But even even if I block both, I'm still dead. Like this is still lethal. I had to just hope that they put it on the Spellbreaker. This puts me down to two, and then I lose to this right here. GG's. The second Questing Beast. Well, one, that's that Spellbreaker was real clutch and then that second questing beast finished me off there Watery Grave. Again, I like leading with this over Temple. Because see, Watery Grave, you may have thought, okay, well, maybe that's control. You know, maybe it's not. Like, it's a lot of things it could be. So just have... You want to have the most information you can have whenever you're making your scrying decisions, and so even just saving this for later on, whenever you know like what you what you need to find, because <clears throat> of the game situation. Well, now I wish I would have taken the Wicked Wolf. And been able to hold up the negate for the Golgari Queen. No, they found Oko. No, go. 
Well, I don't have a removal spell for that right now. Probably means I'm dead. Every tale about me is absolute nonsense. One bite, and all your cares are gone. I appreciate clean victories. Mm, a quest of mystery. is in order. I was really hoping they were going to plus one and turn their food into a 3-3. Three, three. Mm. I really regret playing this Dreadhorde Invasion and not holding up Oko, to, or not holding up Negate to be able to counter an Oko. Thought they were going to be going with the wolf the next turn. I had to find planeswalker removal. My plan there we is go. I was going to say, we have a good amount of planeswalker removal in our deck. Fair. You're not fair. All right, now we have the negate. I have made a tactical error. Hmm. Let us plan for the trials ahead. So I want to mill me because I don't want to give them a cauldron familiar. I mean, this is an elk. It turns into a nine nine. If they elk this, it's a nine nine. Because it's a, it's a zero zero with six counters on it. They're not they're not turning this thing into an elk. Walk with me. But they're Sing they're going to be making food for the, their wicked wolf. You. One bite, and all your cares are gone.
That's bold. Uh, I got another food. Retreat that was like the perfect hit, strategy. Gilded Goose. Yeah, that was just the perfect hit. Also, you know, gave him a blocker for Oko and gave him another food. They can't steal the army. Whoa, they didn't sack the food? Huh. They didn't sack the food? Okay. Hey, tribe. Yeah, you can't... Yeah, like, the, you can only steal things with power three or less. That army had a lot bigger than three power. So if I play these Noxious Grass, what am I not playing? Looks like they're just straight up Soul Tide. They're, doesn't look like they're four color for like Mayhem Devil and Corvold. So Vraska and Oko are gonna be big here. I'm gonna take out a Thought Erasure and enter the God Eternals into Liliana. Yeah, I mean, Legion's End is good against the Goose and against Cauldron Familiar, but only if they like don't have a, a Witch's Oven in play. Hey, you stop. Here, go chew on the pen. If you want to chew on something, not my arm. First hand was already a mulligan with two uncastable. Two uncastable nickel boluses. So it's already like a mold of five, so we'll just go to go to six. What's up, cat? I'm a god once again. So it'd be good to get this overseer in play to give the army hexproof, but 
the problem is if we do play like overseer is going to die to brutality also so that's a there's a problem there okay Grixis amass with the three one. All right, so good league there. Gonna go ahead and uh, just play the four matches like we talked about at the beginning here for for our deck. Make sure we have plenty of time for Jeskai Thousand Year Storm. But good showing, you know, like we played against a, a good variety of decks there with our four matches. Another good 3-1 finish. We'll take that. Um, yeah, like this This is how I like Grixis these days. I really like Widespread Brutality. Um, Dreadhorde Invasion <clears throat> gives you like that. And, you know, with Widespread Brutality, like having the Amass token gives you a way to like attack and, and finish games out. Brutality is a really good way to pressure Planeswalker, as we've seen. <clears throat> like you have like an Amass token uh, because of like Dreadhorde Invasion or, or whatever. And your opponent has a bunch of creatures and a planeswalker, and you brutality wipe their whole board, and then you and then you know you get to use your your ar new grown army to attack their planeswalker and everything. I like this deck. Um, the okay, so a couple things about the sideboard. The thought distortion that's kind of in here is just like an an anti control card. This could be something else. Um, you know, this could be like a second Narset or anything like that. We didn't really play against anything like that. But if you play against decks that don't have creatures, right, like your Fires of Invention decks, for example, if you're not playing creatures, then um, you don't need like the three Enter the God Eternals. You don't need the four Widespread Brutality. You don't need this Legion's End. So that's eight cards right there that you just don't need um, So you, that you can sideboard out. And so you have to have at least eight sideboard cards to bring in against those kind of matchups. And we have some with, you know, Duress, Negate, um, the Narset, the Thought Distortion, the two Rouse, you know, like, so like that's what you're kind of bringing in there. And then, you know, kind of filling it out like Elder Spell or Noxious Grasp if either of those are applicable. But I wanted to try out Thought Distortion. I think this is, I think Thought Distortion is a pretty underrated card. Uh, I think it'd just be amazing against like Esper Dance, of course. Um, but then also just other like Fires of Inventions decks that are just having, you know, they just play a bunch of like Drawn from Dreams, everything like that. Again, this could be something else. You can play a different Planeswalker um, instead, in including like another Narset. I basically wanted to try, but we, we haven't really gotten paired against anything like that. So it, I don't know. You know, we didn't really use it. But again, that could be like a Narset. Um, I don't really like Commence the Endgame. I, I kind of feel like Commence the Endgame is too expensive at six mana. Um, it can, you know, amass a lot, though. And, you know, it's draw two, amass equal number of cards in your hand. Um and it can't be countered, right? I think it can't be countered, if I remember that correctly. Yeah, it can't be countered. This could be like this this could be your thought distortion in the sideboard. Like if you want to play commence in the sideboard for those matchups instead. That's you know, that's certainly reasonable. You know, it's yeah. Certainly reasonable there. If you want Ashiok in the sideboard, you could have that too. There's tons of options in the Grixis colors. Basically, I wanted to try Thought Distortion. I think Thought Distortion is uh, pretty, um, is pretty powerful. And and then yeah, like it can Thought Distortion can just win games. Like sometimes you play against you know like the decks that just have like tons and tons of counter spells in their hand. You know like the blue white control decks and stuff like that. Um, and just boom, just exile everything. It it can just be devastating there. Anyway, um, yeah, that's that's Grixis Amass, though. Awesome league, good showing. We did a great job of beating all these Oko decks in ranked. We really did with all three of our decks today. I like all three of these decks. Like, if you want, you know, like, different, um, if you want, you know, like, just different stuff to, to play in ranked that's not, you know, like, Oko and everything, and, and uh, I really like all three of these decks. I recommend them. Um, all right, but that's it for Grixis Amass, though. So if you're watching on YouTube, uh, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave some comments. I always appreciate all of that. But uh, thanks for watching Grixis Amass, though. Or Hawkeye, signing off. <laughs> thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.